Dear students, in this topic, we shall discuss the tubular reabsorption, that is reabsorption process in the kidney tubule. The glomerular filtrate flows sequentially through the various or successive parts of the renal tubule. From the tubule, useful substances are selectively reabsorbed back into the blood. Reabsorption occurs in every segment. However, the substances absorbed and their relative concentration changes with the segment. First, we shall discuss reabsorption in the proximal convoluted tubule. The cells of proximal convoluted tubule reabsorb about 60 to 70 percent volume of the ultrafiltrate. In the ultrafiltrate, hai, uska takriban 60 se 70 percent hissa jo hai, wo proximal convoluted tubule mein reabsorb ho jata hai. Lekin, ratio wise, this portion reabsorbs about 99 percent or even more than 99 percent of glucose amino acids and other organic nutrients. This reabsorption involves diffusion, facilitated diffusion, active transport and co-transport mechanisms. Proximal convoluted tubule also actively absorbs various ions like sodium, potassium, magnesium, phosphate, bicarbonate, and sulfate ions. It also reabsorbs some ions passively. Ions or nutrients ke ilawa, a large quantity water ki bhi proximal convoluted tubule se reabsorb hoti hai. E jo reabsorbed materials hai, they enter the peritubular fluid, yani wo fluid, jo ke tubule ke ird gird mojood hai, reabsorbed substances, us mein enter ho jate hai, jahaan se they diffuse into the peritubular capillaries, which quickly return these substances back to the blood flow uh, or circulation. Now we shall discuss reabsorption in the loop of Henle. Loop of Henle is important for the reabsorption of water. Reabsorption, which was proximal convoluted tubule, mein shuru hui thi, that continues in the descending limb of loop of Henle. Because this loop is freely permeable to water. It has numerous water channels, which are made by aquaporin protein. Taham, ye wali jo limb hai, descending limb, it has no channel for solute. Is liye ye solutes ke liye permeable nahi hai. Or solute ki reabsorption descending limb of loop of Henle se nahi hoti. Now, unlike the descending limb, jo ascending limb hai, that contains ion channels, but not water channels. Is liye is limb se ions ki reabsorption hoti hai, jabke water is limb se zyada reabsorb nahi hota. Overall, the loop of Henle reabsorbs about half of the water and two-thirds of the sodium and chloride ions which enter into it in the filtrate form from the proximal convoluted tubule. Because proximal convoluted tubule has role play its role. After that, the amount of fluid or filtrate loop of Henle mein enter hua tha, uska half water or two-third ions loop of Henle mein absorb ho jate hain. This absorption takes place by a special mechanism which is called counter current exchange or counter current multiplication. Now we shall discuss reabsorption in the distal convoluted tubule. Filtrate ka Jo initial filtrate tha, uska takriban 15-20 fisad hissa uh, distal convoluted tubule tak pohunta hai. Ye jo 
डिस्टल कॉन्वोलूटिव ट्यूब्यूल के सेल्स हैं दे एक्टिवली रीअब्जॉर्ब सोडियम एंड क्लोराइड आइंस इसी डिस्टल कॉन्वोलूटिव ट्यूब्यूल का जो बिल्कुल आखिरी हिस्सा है यानी डिस्टल पोर्शन जो है इट आल्सो कंटेन्स आइन पम्प्स विच रीअब्जॉर्ब ट्यूबुलर सोडियम इन एक्सचेंज फॉर पोटेशियम आइंस इसके अलावा ये पोर्शन जो है डिस्टल कॉन्वोलूटिव ट्यूब्यूल जो है इट आल्सो रीअब्जॉर्ब बाई कार्बोनेट आइंस टू रेगुलेट दूरन पी